Kelly, let's ask you because you think you've sort of gone beyond and say you, it's disgusting. Yeah, I think it's. I can't believe we're even having the discussion that in anybody's mind it is ever ever acceptable to get a potty out in the middle of a restaurant and let a child go in it. And I, you know, I agree to a certain extent that we shouldn't be encouraging children to hold it in. And when they need to go, they need to go. But you know, where do you draw the line? That you know, if you've got elderly people or sick people who also have, you know, special toileting needs, would it also be acceptable for them to, you know, have a poo yeah, but in the middle had a of the restaurant? Toilet, it's like that, for example, and You're something happened in a restaurant. So, well, exactly. I wouldn't be outraged and disgusted. No, I'd be like, oh, well, that's a situation that well, obviously... Well, this is it. OK, and when people do have those needs, you know, you, they're kind of... Um, they're prepared for them, aren't they? And they use adequate protection in case things like that happen. And I think that when you've got children who you are potty training, firstly, don't make plans to go to a restaurant during that time, but secondly, you know, make sure you are prepared you, for you accidents. Can't, you can't not go out the house when you're potty training. No, you that's can't, like but ridiculous. generally, but I think what you, most people tend to do, you, you do it in the summer, what you we would have done. Some we'd have, we'd, do have, we'd have picked a, a restaurant. We'd have, you know, yeah. thought, right, okay, that's a suitable one. That's great with kids. There's a nice clean loo out the back. That's quite good. Uh, can we have a table near the loo? You know, you've, you, it's not rocket science. No, it's not. But you can't always choose your table in a restaurant. And you know, you, you've, we've all had children on it's this a, sofa. It's a two-second walk from wherever yeah, you but are. Yeah, that's all it takes. That that, that's all it takes for an it's accident. And then quick. they're in the middle of the restaurant, wet and maybe dry. I had it in a, a um, in a shop the other day. And obviously, not all shops have, have bathrooms. And I had my little potty with me that for Chester, because obviously he's, he was. This was when he wasn't quite fully trained, and he needed to go. And he went wee wee, mummy, and I went right, okay. And I said to the lady, "Is there is there a bathroom here?" She went, "No, it's any." stuff only and I went fine I went do you mind if I use his potty and I went round behind the wellies it was in a shoe shop and put the potty down and she went oh would you mind coming with me maybe you could do that in the storeroom and I was like he's he's gonna if he wets himself he wets himself what I'm saying. This and is I saying. took him and we went into the storeroom and I thought it's really bizarre isn't it that I can go in the storeroom and let him use a potty but I wasn't allowed to use the staff toilet for a child that was potty and I found that a bit I thought that was a different thing entirely. But isn't it, isn't the, that uh, totally acceptable? The difference is, and, and, and what has got so many people talking uh, uh, about this aspect isn't of potty training, is the fact mm. that your child is sitting on a potty having a poo in a restaurant. And there's no consideration for anybody else. Well, I think in a shop, do, in a shop there are of... places to go. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely Absolutely, fine. but doing it in a restaurant, you know, you've got to think about other people. And it's kind of like, I don't know, to me, it just totally smacks of this kind of, you know, sense of entitlement, performance parenting that we all seem to be totally subjected to all the time now and, and other people's children's needs come before anybody else well I think I, I think they do I'm, I'm in my house and, and you know and I potty train lots of children I always say to the parents just go with it don't trap yourself in your home don't you know that some people say to me right okay I'm gonna stay in for a week because I'm potty training that's ridiculous because as soon as you go outside with your child that's potty training they think it's abnormal because they mm. they're used to training inside the house so you do need to keep your life you've as just got to keep possible, your life okay. as normal as possible and let them be part of your life well, you and, people you know your professional yeah. potty trainer that people do contact you and they pay they pay you two thousand pounds you go around to their house you live with them for a week and you potty train their child so they can't even be bothered to do it themselves no it's not being bothered I mean these people have tried and you know I don't know if you've seen the latest report but they're saying that 70% of children are going to primary school on potty train so you know if I can make a difference out there and I think there's there is a big problem with potty training that there's not enough um, out there about it and it's it's getting worse so these poor children are going to school but is traumatized and we've got to be cruel here you've got to be honest and say that you know that didn't happen 20 years ago the other no, problem is so we're just getting lazy we can't even be bothered well. to teach them how or to use a we're potty. getting nervous to go out and potty uh, yeah. train our kids in public because everybody's being outraged and disgusted by seeing a child but the thing is how, how many times have we seen out? it though i mean i you know I, I think it's a relatively new thing that we are seeing potties being sort of like you know whipped out everywhere i mean i, I never saw it sort of like five ten years ago certainly when i was toilet training my son i, I never saw people sort of like wandering around with potties but i was talking to a friend who works with preschoolers and she was saying that children become so over reliant on the potty that when she's dealing with them in her nursery provision they're terrified of the toilet the only way they will actually go is on a potty in the middle of the room surrounded by everybody else so it's kind of like almost instilling this real but toilet that's fear really that's a natural really really, really, really. I mean, it's kind I of like you know that. they're terrified of using the actual big toilet and it's kind of like this reliance I mean, on the potty yeah. No. I mean, I, I just I just think, you know, parents are working. More and more parents are going out there and working now. And there's different childcare. They're going to nursery, they're going home, and there's no consistency. I think that's all it's about. And, you know, hopefully, with what I'm doing and talking about it here today, we'll make a difference and get those people working together. That's the only problem I see. Mm. As you know, they go to nursery, they're doing their best job there. They come home, the parents are tired, they're busy, they stick a nappy on, and 
back, they, re they regress again. That's, you know, the only thing I see. But I think, we're, as parents, we're all trying our hardest. I don't blame the parents. But none I of just that's justification for pulling a potty out in the middle of a restaurant where other people are eating. It's Surely not, no, there's it's not kind of like there's a health and safety it, issue. There must be. It's called bringing up your child and letting them be free, you know, and I think that... Well, I'm not without saying... any consideration for anybody else, people sitting a few feet away eating their dinner, it's fine for somebody to then do a poo while somebody else okay, is so eating. OK, so what happens when you walk in a high street and a dog's doing it? What, well, that's, that's a bit different. I'm not generally sitting there eating my meal on the high street when a dog's having a poo. Well, you know, they, they, they do go, I, I mean... So. Let's yeah, leave it there. Well. For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. At 71 stone, if you reach your goal, how would you get to the food without help? There's plenty of men who would love to be in Sid's position, so I, I would have people message me every day <laughs> of well, just about, you're so lucky, you're so lucky.